Hi guys. Uh, today I'll be showing you how you can make a very simple uh, login uh, session. For example, if you need to create uh, a login page for like is that example a social blog or a simple login page or something with users, uh, you should uh, definitely learn this at the beginning. So right here we have a blank simple login PHP and we'll be using it on live uh, in, 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 in this page and right here. So let's start. The first thing we need uh, to write a form which where will be the input and submit buttons. Let's center it. The form basically div tag is uh, a, a field which is not a form and is not a table but you can modify it as you wish your background colors borders and everything all right so let's write form action post uh, um, sorry method is post Uh, to which you are uh, to which uh, sorry here right to which file this uh, form will be sending information on and in my case you just copy and paste but I suggest you use a much smarter system for example uh, if it if is the same file, you just write you just uh, make a variable same f same rule. I'll show you on how you can do it later. Okay, so this is the same file. Uh, let's write input type or uh, text name name size equals twenty five. New line input type equals password name pass size and five and let's write in front name pass and then you need the button which is input type equals submit name equals login uh, value this is which what is written inside is login now okay then let's do it like this once this is completed let, let's just echo out uh, post name Post pass post oh no no there's not any more information according to this one uh, okay so I just upload the file let's refresh okay uh, this means that there is a code error somewhere and I believe this code error is right here because I never wrote like this before and you just delay if you if you oh sorry if you write in double marks here you leave the any form of or anything in brackets like this because otherwise the code will work down okay so we have name and password let's just write name name and pass pass login okay, now name name pass pass okay that this is what the post form is showing okay let's look like this and now there are many things if you use a, a hosting which you pay for and anything you write utf without boom otherwise it, it will be showing you headers already sent output and blah 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 so let's look, let's do it like this and always in front start writing session and once this is done, 
uh, uh, this must be in the first line, very very first line. And once this is done, now we write the login script, which is uh, if so, if somebody pressed the button, which is login. Then obviously we do something. Then we create a session name. So pass is equals to uh, so uh, I'm not sure if right here is correct but uh, as I remember it's correct but I will anyway show you how it's check for errors and I believe it's okay session name equals post name and session equals pass so this is the main basics uh, after this is login is completed we can get the name of this like here and like here but uh, let's do it like this that uh, user name equals after login username equals username we don't show this anymore and uh, if we are login otherwise we are not logged in and we can al also uh, use a password so we have to have both sessions otherwise we are logged out and then if we are logged in we say welcome I love you username Uh, okay, so let's just check this out. I love you, dear, dear YouTube watcher. And password is I don't tell you. Okay, welcome. I love you, dear YouTube watcher. That's perfect. So anyway, now that we are have logged in. Uh, you can check whether the system works by uh, refreshing the page. Okay, it works great. I don't know why it's in this server it refreshes 70 times. Maybe this is the issue because some plugins are here. But I love you, dear YouTube watcher. No, that's perfect. Okay, so uh, now we need to create a logout button. So once we are logged in, we should log out also. And logout button begins by writing echo. Sorry. There are many ways that you can write in different different types of logout systems or ways, but we just write it as simple as can be for you as a learner. Copy inside the same script. Log out. Let's do it like this. Let's write question mark uh, type equals log out. Uh, remember this and remember this now. Uh, now that we have started our session, we should destroy it afterwards. And let's do it like this. If uh, get type this means if we get from a link value type which is equals to log out we write session destroy destroy yeah, that's correct uh, no, I know that plus plus it doesn't show as it it's a function like this, but also we do like this that 
session pass and session name just in case equals to nothing. At any rate, you are logging out. Perfect. And once this happens, uh, we the the page stands uh, while you log out. So I suggest we write a refresh. And here's my script. Refresh code. I'm just copying it out. That the page refreshes at the beginning. So refresh is zero. You you just stop the video and copy this one out. And the page refreshes to the same page right here. Okay, now let's test this one out. Obviously, they still are logged in. We can log out now. Okay, we jumped very fastly back because we have zero seconds. Let's leave it to three. Post it back inside. My name is Hello uh, YouTube Watcher. Password is. I don't know. Uh, uh, welcome, I love you, YouTube watcher, perfect. And so, what does it? What happens now? We can write here many URLs as we want. Uh, we can uh, post this code somewhere as we need, or anything. The program will still remember uh, this user, which is logged in, by. Uh, these two fields. If these fields exist, you write some code right here. For example, you w you have a web page design, and you want to write in a login script on a web page. So you just use this code right here. You copy it somewhere, and once this user is logged in, uh, you show something like uh, user picture and something like something like something else. Uh, the next thing is if you want to register the user, you write uh, a harder code right here. So, for example, post uh, re post register and then create user pass, check if a user exists, user email, and blah, 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 and then insert into. And once uh, login script is, once he is registered, you write login script and check by the email and password whether th such a user exists in database, if exists then create session like this and afterwards uh, session start and once you've successfully logged in you you just use this code right here put this in the header somewhere at the top but remember put this one in front of this code on top and log in uh, even in the top uh, I mean log out and uh, then just use this code right here somewhere and put anything that you want. So thank you for watching. Any questions, just write. Bye.